Hello guys and welcome to another Blender tutorial. So today is not a character modeling tutorial, but I am gonna be showing you how to make cartoony eyes like this on a cylindrical surface. And it's really, really easy. So this is gonna be the one we're gonna be doing today. So it's essentially just this low poly cylinder. And I'm gonna show you a very easy process of making these cartoony eyes. So, um, and by the way, I'm gonna be making this guy here available on my Patreon as well. So you guys can use that and have a look at it. Um, that'll be on there. But this is just a tutorial that's been requested by a few people now who find modeling like cartoony eyes quite hard. So I thought I'd make a little video on it and I hope you guys enjoy. So let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is open up a new scene in Blender. I've just gone ahead and deleted all default objects. I'm gonna go shift A, go to the mesh options, add in a cylinder. And we're gonna to go to add cylinder here and we're gonna make the vertices here um, something like 16. Um, but we wanna make sure it's a number that can be divided by two. So in this case, um, 16 divided by two would be eight. And so that's even on both sides. So we're gonna go with 16. And we're gonna start with relatively low poly of this. So we're gonna tab into edit mode. And we're gonna start here by going to our edge select. And we're gonna add in an area here where we can start our eyes. So let's go control R and that's gonna add in a loop cut here. And we're gonna roll our middle mouse wheel a few times. So we're gonna roll it till we get to four cuts in here. We're gonna click. So now we have our loops in here. So we've got one, two, three, four loops. And we're gonna to go to our vertex select option here. And we're gonna select, if we go to our front view, we're gonna select this vertice right here. Sorry, not this one, but the one next to it. So in the middle here, we're gonna move our one, two vertices. And we're gonna go control plus to grow the selection. And then we're gonna go E to extrude and S to scale. And then if you go Shift, Alt and S, you can round that out like this. And then we're gonna go X and delete those faces, just like that. And now what we're also gonna to do to make things a little bit more efficient is just select these half of the vertices, go delete vertices. And then we're gonna go and give this guy a mirror modifier, enable clipping. And now we can start um, modeling on one side and it'll mirror onto the other side. It's just gonna make things a bit easier for us. So let's start by going to our proportional editing. Make sure you enable that. I'm gonna select this vertex here in the eye, holding and shift select this vertex. Go hit free to go into your right or graphic view. And then what we're gonna do is so we're gonna go G and just move this back. But we're also gonna roll our middle mouse button to decrease the offset, the fall off. So we only want it to bring it into about here for now. Then we're gonna grab this vertex here. We're gonna go G and move it back a little bit. So we're creating the basic structure where our eye is gonna be sitting in. And we're gonna tab out of edit mode. I'm gonna go Shift A and we're gonna add in a UV sphere. S to scale it down, G to move it over. And let's just go R, X, 9, 0 and hit enter. And just so we can see where the pupils are, I'm just gonna give this a material and call it eyes. Then I'm gonna click plus again and create a material and just call it um, um, pupil. I'm gonna tab into edit mode, select this vertex here, control plus a few times. And then with that um, pupil material selected, we're gonna assign, come down to the viewport display and let's make that just darker, darker value there. So now we have an eye, go to object and enable shades move. And let's also give this eye a mirror modifier. Click on the little eyedropper and then select this guy over here. So we're gonna go G, just move it in to here. Just like that, scaling it down a bit, which is bringing this eye in to here. And at the moment you can see this is not lining up, we're gonna fix that. So select the character again, or the, the eyes we're creating here. I'm gonna select this vertex at the front and we still have our proportional editing enabled. We're gonna go G, X, and move this over like this. And now you can see it's starting to make more sense, All right? So tab back out of edit mode, just select that I, go G, Y, and just move it forward. So we wanna move it, if you go to your right view, not too far forward, not too back, so just right about here. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna simply model the rest of the eyelids around here. So that's very simple. We're gonna tab into edit mode, and we're just gonna grab this guy, just bring it in a little bit closer here, and this guy here. Disable proportional editing. And then if you go Shift, Alt, and click on here to select this loop of vertices, we're gonna come over here to the side. Then we're gonna go E to extrude it out and then S to scale it. And what we're doing is just bring out um, a loop, a group of these edges here, a group of vertices that make up this edge. And then what we're gonna do is enable proportional editing again. 
and we're going to select this vertex here and G, move it in a little bit, and then grab this guy here and move it in a bit. Disable it if you have to, and then go Shift Alt, click on the sleeper vertices just to select them, scale them up a bit, and we're going to move it this way a little bit, just like that. So we've got this eyelid starting here. Then we're going to go E to extrude, S to scale, give it some thickness, and then we're going to come over here to the side again. Line yourself up and then go E and extrude this in and then scale it down. And now I'm going to tab out of it edit mode, go to add modifier and we're going to give this a subdivision surface modifier. Go to object and also just enable shade smooth. So now it's still not looking quite right but we're going to come in here now and we're going to add in some more loop cuts. So we're going to come over here, control R, double click, double G and we're going to slide in an edge loop here. And then we're going to go Alt S and we're going to scale that out on its um, normals. So Alt S, and we're going to come over here, Control R, double click to add in a loop around the eye here, and then go Alt S, scale it in a little bit to create a bit more of an indent. And then we're also just going to grab this eye quickly, just hide it, and then we can go back into edit mode. And let's come over here in the inside, go Control R, double click, double G, and let's slide in an edge loop in here as well. So now you can see the eye is starting to look nice and cartoony. So Alt H just to unhide the eye. And at this point, we can come in now, enable proportional editing, and we're gonna grab these vertices here, and we're gonna just go G, move them around, and we're just gonna kind of work the eye to hug the eyeball, um, the eyelid to hug the eyeball a little bit better. So we're just um, pulling points around till it all feels right. Just gonna bring this one out a little bit. And there we have it. So you can also bump up the subdivision surface amount here, just to smooth it out a bit. And if you feel like these are a little bit too sharp, these edges, you can just go Shift Alt, click on a loop here, Double G just to slide it down, and that's just going to soften that a little bit. So this is how you create nice cartoony eyes on a um, cylindrical surface. Now this can work on um, round spheres as well. So it's just a really low poly way of starting, but it just keeps things really simple. And I really, really like the stylized cartoony design of eyes. And like I said, I'm going to be making this one here available. It's just one of my little characters that I made that uses this kind of cartoony technique. And that's going to be on my Patreon if you guys want to check it out, use it for anything. And um, so thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it and learned something in this little short tutorial about making cartoon eyes. And I'll see you guys next time.